Let's transform together an empty canvas into a mountainscape full of vibrant colors and realistic brush strokes. I will show you also how to use the beautiful colors of the MA colors. And you will also learn how to create a texture that is alive and how to paint the final shadows to bring life to your painting. Be welcome. My name is Michael and let's jump right into how I have created this painting here. I'm scrolling here through the first sheets of the beautiful MA color skies. Let's reveal sheet number 62 for the stunning sunset. You will have with every sky the fitting mountains and the snow and water colors. Let's jump into our little magic studio, the MA Textures Canvas. Go above your layer which is called your color palette and place by dragging and dropping the png file of your selected color onto your palette and from here you can pick up and grab your colors close the group and you can move the whole palette wherever you want now go down and select the painting layer and choose a texture to start as this tutorial is more for painting the effects and how to use the colors for the distant mountains, I will rush over the painting of the sky, but I will give you the brushes I've used. I've used for that to paint it. MA brush number 12-11 and the mixer brush, the bonus brush I've included, the scratchy number 3, which is excellent for these kind of cloud formations. Just use the one and the other, the one to apply the color and the other to smirch it. And do that change as many times as needed. Don't have everything just too soft for the sky. Have also some edges. Always remember a little bit that clouds also do have some harder edges and some softer. You decide where to put them. Here I'm testing different textures of the MA Textures Canvas. You can change the opacity of a texture to give it more expression or go down to have it softer, for example, for a portrait painting if you need. I hope you agree that the MA Textures Canvas has beautiful textures, everyone very unique and very useful for different kind of paintings. We've seen glossy canvas textures here you can see one canvas with scratches. Here we have a linen canvas with paint on it. Very useful also for portrait painting. Here's a Rembrandt canvas texture. Absolutely useful for every kind of painting. Helps me tremendously with my digital art. I can start without thinking, knowing that I will have colors, textures, and with the MA brushes also the right brushes. To start, whoever is interested, you can find them in the description. And from there, you can go to my website and visit me. Take a coffee and watch a few paintings I have painted. I'm taking MA brush 21 3 and I am removing the color dynamics. I will tell you why. Those dynamics are altering between different color values of the color you have chosen. But for the distant mountains, we don't want too much color variation. We want a kind of flat color here, almost a solid. I've picked for that the color of the mountains of the third row, and I am blending them together with the colors of the mountain of the second row to have a little color variation to it. While I was creating the MA colors and I started first with the skies and I wanted just to have skies for the start, I saw that I, I need for every sky a fitting ambient lighting for the mountains and the water because everything is changing according to the sky. So that's also a reason why the MA colors have took me three years to accomplish. Surely it was a tough time, but while I was doing progress, I've started to feel that it is really worth the amount of time and work I'm 
putting into it and I'm really happy with the final result. They are for every digital, but not just digital artist, but also traditional artist who can go and just print the perfect colors for the next painting and use them. Time for a little trick. We want to cut here the clipping masks. For that I am using layer, new layer, and we are removing the use of previous layer to create a clipping mask. Press OK. And you can see that we have cut the clipping mask and we can use now a new a second texture on top of the other painting, especially for that foreground mountain. I want to test another texture of the available textures. I'm using here the first color for the far away mountains and I'm enjoying applying the paint onto my digital canvas. I'm really thinking about doing a video about that process where I am showing how to paint with real oil brushes and the printed MA colors. It would be really a fun project. What do you think? Just write it in the comments and who knows what's coming next. I'm using here the MA mixer brush, the frost brush, you can use whatever frost brush you want of them to create clouds around the mountain. You can use for that colors of the sky of the highlight or the bluish background. If you are using the blue, it will also work. I've decided to use the color of the highlighted clouds, which gives me a little bit of variation. By the way, YouTube has changed very much lately. So if you want to be informed about a new video I'm putting online, you have really to press at the bell because YouTube will most likely not inform you about any new upload without the bell activated. I'm planning now to upload more frequently new videos to this channel, digital painting videos, hopefully for you to benefit. Let's check and compare different textures for that layer. Those are all very useful. This one is a really stony look to it. I'm using now the texture eraser brush, which is included in the MA texture pack to erase some parts of the texture, so it is looking not too even. No question, you can also use the colors of the mountains, of all the mountains included in the MA colors pack. But for now, I want just to use the colors of those three distant mountains to show that this is also working. I'm using here a color of the sky that is reflecting on the stones or the snow of the mountain. The frost brushes are very good to smudge the colors together for such a landscape painting. Just go on and create a smooth transition. As the MA Brush 20-3 has a great texture, I'm using it to go very softly, again with a darker tone, over those rocks to create the first little texture. Time to create even more highlights on that rock. I'm using the color for the snow for that, the highlight color, and I'm using this color especially on the very top of the rocks. Those are right now reflecting the light of the sun to our eyes. Now it's really time to shape and create this mountainscape. I'm using now the shadow tone of the snow for the snow on the backside of this mountain. 
The shadow tone is fitting again perfectly to the sky. It has just the right color value. Remember, you are the painter and you are creating the tonal variations of it by smirching it with a darker tone. As this side here is the back side of the mountain, I want to take away some of the color and make it a little bit darker. For that I'm using a brush, make it quite big, use a darker tone and go over all the area. I'm playing around here now with the color values and I want to try if I could bring here some of the highlights of the sky to that mountain cloud here think it's looking good and let's have it like it is going around the mountain as it would embrace it. I have some amazing news here. The MA Brushes 2 will come out I have gathered over the years a lot of great brushes and added so many useful new ones. So this will be a beautiful additional set to the MA Brushes 1. The main theme of the MA Brushes 2 will be the canvas where you will have all the fan brushes and all the filbert brushes with always an amazing canvas texture included. So you will have a real amazing experience, a realistic one. And whatever you are painting will have a very unique look. A look like you would paint on a canvas with a thick oil paint and a great brush. For creating all those, I have taken many photographs of paintings I've done, thick oil paint textures, and so far they are looking so absolutely stunning. No question that they will be an absolute highlight. I personally can't wait for their release. Hope you are excited too. Just write a comment if you like and maybe you have a good idea what you wish me to include maybe. I'm finishing here the mountain embracing clouds. Take the color of the sky and make a stroke over the mountain. Let's compare here at this point again some of the existing textures. For example, the 23 and 21 are looking very interesting for the mountain. I've decided to use finally the MA texture type 21 with a thick paint. Again, using here a little bit of the eraser, the texture eraser, to take away some of the texture to have it more uneven. Now again, time to use a little bit of magic for this painting. I am copying the first layer and I'm pasting it, paste in place, on the effect layer. Same for the mountain. I'm copying and I'm pasting it in place with that shortcut now and merge it down so everything is on the paint effect layer. Next, set a history source. This obviously is just working in Photoshop and cut out all the pixels. We are working now with a razor brush and for that I recommend you now the following brushes. Use MA brush number 2-2 or the amazing MA brush number 4-10 or the brush number 2-4, which is like a round brush. I've tested many 
I think those are working perfectly for our plan. What we want to do is now we want to add an impestor effect. For that we are using that paint effect layer of the MA texture canvas. And we are using the history of the eraser. For that I'm pressing the ALT key while I am erasing to bring back the deleted source of this layer. Next again I'm deleting it while I am erasing with a normal brush. And it creates this beautiful effect of a real impasto stroke. What a really amazing, unique, eye-catching result. Now, of course, this is one of my first paintings with that effect on. I have to play around to test around and to look what is working, how much of it to use. Just more or less, just at the corners. You have to decide for yourself and look what is working and what's not working. I will slightly overdo it now, just for presentation purposes, so we can have a look at different results and also of different brushes. And we can compare the outcome. We can see what is working and what is not so good working. Let's have now the MA brush number 2-4. This is the round one and I feel like this is really doing a great job. So I hope you are enjoying while I'm pressing into the thick paint my brush. Isn't it looking realistic and beautiful? I'm so excited about future projects and paintings I will do with this effect here. Let's enjoy. This painting here took me around 45 minutes to create. I mean, that is really just possible with the tools I'm using right now. If I hadn't the right brushes or colors just to go and not to use any reference to look at, it would take me much longer to make such a painting. And it would be much more struggle. And the good thing about the right tool is that you can go without overthinking and still have a remarkable result at the end. And that's actually the one thing that can put your artistic soul at ease and peace while you are painting and creating. The MA colors are helping me tremendously to paint out of my imagination.
I hope so far you had a beautiful experience and seen something new. Now next, I want to slightly take away of the edges of the painting, so you will see the canvas underneath it. With this little trick the painting is looking more realistic, even more, let's say it like that. You don't have to use it, you can use it here and there if you want. Don't use it always, I just want to show what is possible. And for that absolutely amazing is the well-known MA brush 15-7. Believe me, test it, you will see it will bring an amazing result here at the edges. Here I'm trying to slightly take away of the painting effect with an eraser. Now I have done this three times, here is my first. I've decided to take this last version of it. Really I had so much fun doing this, I have tried many times. Now for the next magic trick, merge all the layers together, have them all at one layer. And now take a mixer brush and take now a knife of the MA brushes, the mixer MA brush knife number 4 version 3 and go over all the effects. This idea came to me suddenly and it is once again an amazing one. Enjoy how I am creating now an even more realistic texture on that mountain. Really feels like you would be in a traditional painter painting now on your computer screen. And after all, not to forget to mention how much fun this all is. And in those dark times as we are living right now in, a little bit of fun, creation, creativity is really, really important to stay connected with your spirit. In my eyes, music or painting or whatever art it is, it's absolutely essential for our daily lives. And it is always greater to do it, not just to listen or to watch at it. I had it built my whole life inside. Whatever I'm seeing, I'm really obsessed by the idea to do it myself. Art is giving us possibility to experience life in a superior way. And have you watched carefully how little art is mentioned in the outside world? Seems like everything else is very important. In a world full of wars, hate and chaos, I think we have to remember and go back to our roots. What value can copy and paste AI give us people? The real magic is happening while creating. And this is where the spirit is really feeling alive. So I've painted now with the scratchy bonus brush number 3. Beautiful strokes to every side to bring a little movement to the painting. And now let's create a little bit of a shadow which always makes a painting immediately more realistic. Check for that from where the light is coming from. In this case it's the sun and paint like in this case a line to indicate the shadow. I've decided to take this one for my final painting because without the shadow the texture is looking so great in this one. And here you can watch one of my other videos. See you there.